Hello to all of you beautiful people inside of my phone and welcome back to another video on the Matt Mellis channel. I have been given an offer that I simply cannot refuse. Twice a year there is an opportunity for LEGO fans that make them question how much they really enjoy the hobby versus how much they're willing to pay for it. And that my friends are the weeks of LEGO Double VIP points. This is one of the few times of the year that LEGO fans consider going past the point they think they'd ever spend in order to accumulate more points that they can then save for future LEGO sets with. And let me tell you, before this video even starts. I have fallen into this black hole that sucks out all the money and drains it into plastic toys. Tomorrow, I will be going past the point that I ever thought that I would spend on LEGO at once. And by the thumbnail and title of this video, I'm sure you already know what you think I'm going to buy. But it's so much worse. As of this point, tomorrow will be the day that I go and purchase my very own UCS Millennium Falcon from the Cleveland LEGO store. Wow. I knew that one day I would be saying those words, but I really didn't think that it would be today. You see, everywhere is sold out of this set. And I mean everywhere. Personally, I would rather purchase it from the Pittsburgh LEGO store since, of course, that is my home, but it's all sold out. It's sold out on LEGO.com. It's sold out pretty much in all LEGO stores. But today, I realized that I am an hour and a half away from purchasing the LEGO set of my wildest dreams. Literally, this is my holy grail set. It's always been that. Well, at least since the point that it came out. For a while, it was the Death Star, and I acquired that set as a youngster as I saved up that money, but this experience is completely different. I'm now an adult, and I've been earning money through social media, and I've been slowly saving up for this point. So in all honesty, this wouldn't be happening without you guys, and I want to make that very clear. Without your support on YouTube, and specifically TikTok, I wouldn't be able to go and purchase this set. I've been saving up live stream donations, creator fund money, everything that I can in order to save for this set because I know you guys would like to see me have my dream set. And I've been talking about it for a while now, so I feel like it is time that I finally go and make this big purchase. And of course, I would like to take you guys along with me. I still cannot believe that I'm buying this set. I am so excited for tomorrow. And the reason that VIP points are so important is because one US dollar is equal to 6.5 VIP points. So 6.5 times $800 is approximately 5,200 VIP points, which is quite a bit. And if we double that, because it's double VIP points, that equals 10,400 VIP points. I'm pretty sure this is all correct, but I could be wrong because I am absolutely terrible with math. I'll let you know how many VIP points is actually worth by the end, but for now, let's go with that. So by simple estimation, I'm really not thinking that far into this, so I could be wrong. That would save me about $75 from my next LEGO purchase. And to clarify, it does have to be from the LEGO store, but that's still great. I hope that there are some gifts with purchase, you never know, but LEGO is pretty good at staggering their events like this. So for instance, if they know they're going to have double VIP points, they're not going to necessarily have a gift with purchase because that's already something that's bringing people into their store. They really don't need another marketing ploy to get people to come in to buy more LEGO. So honestly, right now there's a lot going on inside of my head. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Please wish me luck. So John Luca, he's coming with us today. He doesn't really know what we're doing. Nope. He knows we're going to the Lego store. Yes. Do you have any guesses as to uh, what we will be purchasing there? Matt, knowing you, I have no clue. There is a specific thing on my shirt. Do you... Uh... No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah, that, that is the plan for today. John Luca, we are buying the UCS Millennium Falcon for $800. Are you kidding me? <laughs> No, I am not kidding you at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, man. So, John, look, the tentative plan will be to buy one. Plan B, if it's possible. No. I might. I might be. I might be buying two. <laughs> <laughs> what? I would like to resell potentially one and keep one in the box sealed because the older one went for like. Three thousand dollars at one point. I mean, I'm paying eight hundred. Yeah. So the other one was, I believe, four or five hundred when I originally sold the older version of the set. Yeah. So I might be buying a second one to resell. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Here's also the plan. So it's double VIP points. Okay. Meaning that if I'm spending eight hundred dollars, it would be like I'm spending sixteen hundred. 
If I spend sixteen hundred dollars, <laughs> that would be like spending three thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. So, so if they let me do it, if they let me do it, I will be buying two. If they have two, I don't know if they have two either. Bro, you better call the bank. <laughs> uh, we're not telling my mom about this yet. <laughs> John Luca, you brought snacks. Matt, I got you with the rice krispies. Ooh. I got you with the circus animals. Ooh. And your cameraman's got a shake. <laughs> so we're set. Got some nice energy drinks. Let's roll. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, we are at the flying, what, just the flying J gas station. Is that a J? What is that? Like? T? Is that a? I, I, I can't really, a I can't really tell. We are at the gas station because we only have a quarter tank left. Jaluka, he drank a full energy drink, so yep. he needs to use the restroom very quickly. Yes, I do. Perfect. So let's fill up and uh, <laughs> let out. It's because uh, for all you uh, science nerds out there, uh, caffeine is a diuretic and it makes you pee. <laughs> Fact of the day. <laughs> Every last drop, huh? Yep. Every mm. last drop. Don't, don't spill anything. My hands are shaking. You. I spilled it everywhere. You have your mask. You all good? I'm good. Thanks, Dad. What is that? It's an elephant. Is that a <laughs> car rest for your neck? Dude, this is nice. How much was that? Dude, they sell everything. They have showers in there. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. This place is great. Do you feel comfortable? I'm very comfy. Let's get this show on the road with your $5 <laughs> elephant pet now. If I get nothing at the Lego store, I have a memory. <laughs> at the Beachwood Lego store in Ohio. Let's see if we can find us a Lego Millennium Falcon. I gotta pee. <laughs> Again? Is that the size of it? That's it. <laughs> Today, I would like to buy the UCS Millennium Falcon. Absolutely. So, hey, obviously, we've just got a demo box on the floor. Yeah. So I'm going to get one from the back for you. Okay. Like to keep it in the cardboard, just keep it as nice as possible. Sure. Wait, I also have another question. <laughs> sure. What's up? How many do you have in stock? A thousand right now, but 12. <laughs> Is it possible to purchase two? Ah, honestly, you're, yeah, you have to be fine. Awesome, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell me, how are you feeling about this? I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get all 12. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited to see that you guys even had one in stock, let alone multiple. One. That's one. <laughs> the other thing is, so they're about 33 pounds each. So I mean, yes. you're 66 pounds. Yeah. Do you guys think you'll be able to carry them yourselves, or do you need one of us any help wheeling them? Um, Oh, that, that baby is heavy. Um, we might, we I might think, need help. I think I, we can do it. We can do I it. Feel like, oh, we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. We're gonna get a full workout today. That is heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. I love you very dearly. But sometimes you just, you need to do things like this. You just gotta bite the bullet. Yeah, you want to get here, not we might need it. All right, number two. Awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> Especially for double VIP points. It's like yeah, the perfect amount. You know, it's the first time coming back in reward, so definitely get something, something. Exactly. I was looking for a while now. 
for these, and... I sold three yesterday to different customers. I mean, I sold one starter for a gig, we just got it back in stock. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's double points, it's definitely the best time to wait for an item like this. Yeah. And there's a lot of people are panicking right now on the availability of a set like this. Oh, sure. Do you guys have any idea, like, how long it'll be until it retires? Because that was something that I was kind of worried about as well. I mean, it's been almost five years. The fact that it's on the shelf right now means it should be available at the end of the year. Got it. When it, how long it's in stock, or how long it's out of stock, it's hard yeah. to say. But and Lego.com has not kept them very well. There's, with all the rumors floating around about something big coming in the future. Yeah. And, but Another $800 Star Wars set. People are wondering if to replace one of these, like the oldest being the Falcon. Yeah. But we all, people also bring me a Death Star at the same time as well, so they could easily keep three heavy hitters on the shelf. Sure. Especially if they know that people are going to be buying them. And right, because they're still selling them. Look, look at that, that price. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mom. But it, it had to happen today. It just, it had to. This is all on one card? This is all on one card, right. yes. So, 17.798. <laughs> That's... That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. That's not good. I don't know if you want to try it again. Uh, yeah, let's try it one more time. That I shouldn't have. If your bank is having a fit. Maybe they you are. Have you haven't made a purchase like this, or I really. Oh, did you drive in from far away to get here, or? I came from Erie. That's okay. not good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, I will say you. Uh, you might be. I don't know if you have a front ticket on the car. Just I might. might be freaking out that, of that might be something. Kind of purchase. Yeah, yeah, I've never run into that before. Uh, I thought this would be smooth sailing. <laughs> no, that's definitely <laughs> not. Let's try my debit card sure. instead of the credit card. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we are approved. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. You're proud owner. Woo! We did a dance. Yep. We got to like a million Falcons. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. Man. I literally cannot believe I'm saying that. Give me the full rundown. My wallet is aching right now, but my heart is so full. <laughs> Tell me what you were thinking when the bank card got rejected. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know if I needed to call the bank to call my mother or to just start praying to God. <laughs> but we now have one to build. One sealed. Now we're only missing one more just for the just in case. You Maybe always want to have an extra one just in case. So basically we're leaving the two million Falcons behind. We're gonna park closer that way they can help us wheel them out because they are heavy. Yeah, they're yeah. very heavy. I think having said they're 33 pounds each. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we're still gonna get a physical workout by taking them inside the apartment. So that'll be fine. True. Situation. It's a little bit of a problem. Uh, we have no idea where and how to get to the east entrance of uh, Nordstrom, which is where we are supposed to meet our Lego employee in order to pick up our two UCS Millennium Falcons. Jellica, do you know where we're going? Uh, no. Oh, this is Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh. Uh, but isn't it all kind of interconnected at a certain point? Because we're driving on the lower level now. Oh. Like, it has to be around here because we're on the base ground, right? Matt, you know what you gotta do. You use the force. <laughs> I can reach out and feel my two Millennium Falcons calling to me. They just leave them on the side of the road for us to pick up. <laughs> yeah, just pick them up. 1600 and uh... Dude, I'm so happy that they left them in the cardboard boxes too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not opening that other one. Like, I'm just leaving it in there. Yes, put it in the closet. Oh wait, is this- Is this it? This no, is this the is Ah. Okay, so we probably should have gone the other way. We probably should have gone. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. We're, we're doing a vi victory lap right now. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to uh, circle your prey before you attack. Do like give the uh, give the audience some of your face. We want to see you too. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, here. I'm just here. as lost. <laughs> we have no idea where we're going. We actually no, no, have no clue. no clue at all. Nope. Okay, we're eventually we're gonna just circle the entire mall, and we have to get to the back. Is it this way? Yeah. Well, he said the parking garage. Okay. This has got to be it. Okay. This has got to be it. Oh, up, oh, up, oh. up. Nordstrom. <laughs> Nordstrom. We found it. Let's we found go. it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm coming for you, twin Millennium Falcons. <laughs> I spent $1,700 today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about the tax. <laughs> Double VIP points. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. This is... This is beautiful. I'm gonna go right here because I don't want him to get ran over. 
Thank you so very much. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, cool. That's the shot, mate. Uh, Gianluca, I feel very comfortable. Why don't you, <laughs> you drive look, me home just like this? Yeah, you look in your element. <laughs> We, uh, we brought them upstairs to the storage facility. Um, they were really heavy to carry up the stairs, but we have them in here safe and sound. Oh yeah. Oh. What do you say we open one of these bad boys up? I say it's gonna be like dark and coming in. We don't want the ghosts to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Special stuff in here, man. I don't know if mere mortals were supposed to see what's inside. Well, here's the thing. I know that if I did open it, my parents wouldn't know what they are. <laughs> so I think that I leave them both sealed. <laughs> open it up. Let's pop it. Come on, come on, pop it open. Pop one open. Oh, it's open. Are you ready? Let's do it. I don't want to cut it either. Yeah, be careful. It says right here, do not cut. Do not use a razor. But this isn't a razor. This is an X-Acto knife. Being very, very careful. See, we lift it up now a little bit. Just grazing the top. <laughs> Just kissing the top of the, the tape. Yep. <laughs> Four hours later. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Here, let's show the camera. She's a beauty. Oh, she's sideways. Look at that. The back of the box, or the front of the box. This is where they want you to open it because it has all the information about the set. This one you're actually gonna, yeah, because you're gonna. This is the one I will open. The other one I will be keeping in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect, makes sense. We did it. Woo! Do you want to take it the full way out? Dude, I think we have to. <laughs> we got, we got, hey, we came Shall this far. Shall we? Shall we? Let's, let's, let's do it. We gotta slide out, dude. This is where everyone how do we? How do we do this? Carefully. You get the front. I'm just gonna hold it. You. Yep, I got it. You can pull out now. <laughs> Spin that bad boy around. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> a nice little smell. <laughs> the Lego smell. It has the Lego smell, yeah, because it was in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him a, let's get him a little side view. Oh, uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. It shows you all the minifigures down here. Oh, it comes with two porgs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's weird to uh, be holding this right now. So. Yeah actually have it in my hands after so long of wanting this set. So. All these Ultimate Collector series too, they always have these sleek black foxes yep. and I think they just look so good. Cantina did a good job of that too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's almost the boxes are a collector's piece in the moment. Exactly. Well, be, being a UCS set, an Ultimate Collector series set, we'll call them UCS. UCS. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, people, all right. people will want this set just because of that title not even for the set itself, but mm. collectors out there will be looking for this long after it's Just retired. Just yes, collectors. Too. Yes. Okay, okay. Wow. Crazy. All right, let's go build it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yahoo! It has been a couple of days since I've made my big Lego purchase, but I am still very proud of it. Every time that I walk into the room, I look at this set and I just smile. And I'm sure you are all wondering, so Matt, how many VIP points did that end up being in total? Well, let me tell you, it was quite a bit. Like I had mentioned, the Lego store was giving away double VIP points for every purchase that was made. So this ended up being in total, 20,800 points. Wow, that's a lot of VIP points. But Matt, how much does that actually equal in dollars? Each set was worth 10,400 points, which equal exactly $80 each. So in total, both combined equaled 160 US dollars in VIP point savings. And of course, those all go to my next Lego purchase, but I count them as savings because of course, I will be spending hundreds of more dollars at the Lego store at some point. I run a Lego YouTube channel. What do you expect? Not only that, but my thought process for this entire expedition was about making an investment. 
It's an investment on my YouTube channel and TikTok account because I am able to make more content with this Lego set. And the one that's still sealed in the box will be an investment for my future. At some point, I would hope to resell the set at maybe even triple the value that I had paid for it. That would in turn also pay for this set. The love you have shown me and the hard work that I put into making these accounts have paid off. And I hope that this actual small amount of money can end up making me more money later on down the road. That's the whole point of what investing is. And of course, someday when someone else does buy this Lego Millennium Falcon from me, I hope that they enjoy it as much as I will enjoy this one that I get to keep for myself. That is why I don't look down on LEGO resellers unless they're doing it at an outrageous quantity. Because what they're doing is expanding the longevity of someone's passion to enjoy older LEGO sets, even if it is at a higher price. If you started collecting the UCS sets after this set retires, you would never have the opportunity to actually purchase it if it wasn't for secondhand sellers. It's a win for everyone. I get a return on my investment and someone gets to enjoy a retired set long after it's off the shelves. And it's not like I bought the other 10 of these that they had in stock. I only got these two. I hope that the amount of money that I was able to save in order to buy this set is paid off in the future by selling this set. And I hope that selling it also makes more money that I can use to buy even more Lego, not only just to pay this off. Some people look at investing as buying cryptocurrency or stocks. I look at investing as buying Lego. And no, I did not tell my parents that I had bought these yet. I hope to actually make a video explaining this all to my mom and getting her reaction on film. I think that would be super entertaining for you guys. At the end of the day, I am just so excited to finally have the Lego set that I've always dreamed of getting. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I couldn't have done it without your support. Whether that is through your support on TikTok and YouTube by simply following me and enjoying what I do, or through the donations that I've received on TikTok straight from you, plus all of the kind words of encouragement that I get in the comments on a daily basis. It truly means more than you will ever know. Honestly, a year ago, I never imagined that my passion for LEGO would be rekindled and built back up to what it is today. This time last year in April of 2020, I made one video about LEGO on TikTok that got 40,000 views. It showed me that you guys have a genuine interest in this hobby and I'm so grateful for that. Life is so strange sometimes. Just as I become an adult and go out into the real world after college, I circle back to what my childhood was all about. This video is not only a big dedication to my childhood, but it's also a thank you to everyone who has been with me along this journey over the past year. You all have made me feel like a kid again, and I am so happy for it. I love you to pieces, and may the force be with you always. Roll the outro! Yes! Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this piece of content, please do consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Here are some other video recommendations that you should check out. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content from me. Thank you so much for the support and have a great rest of your day.